Yo, I'm back at y'all again. G to amputee. Tonight, let's talk Cavs. Cavs game just went off. And um, I got some things I want to say about the Cavs. And I want to know how y'all feel about them and everything like that. Um, we're going to do Browns later. But right now, let's talk Cavs. So, Darius Garland just went 51 points tonight. We just lost by, what was it, five points? But it, we shouldn't even have lost this game. J.B. Bickerstaff, I love Coach. Coach, I feel like he does overall a great job, but he makes some small mistakes that causes that cost us big time. We had some injuries tonight. That's a given. You know, all teams are gonna go through that. Donovan Mitchell was out. Jared Allen was out, Dean Wade's out. So, you know, that's Jared Allen, that's some good defense that we're missing. With Donovan Mitchell, everybody know that's a lot of offense we're missing right there. What I want to say is this. Coach got to stop being so stubborn, stuck in his ways, and learn how to switch up the lineup and learn how to and do better with taking players in and do better with the rotation in general. Tonight, we we didn't have the best game. Darius Garland didn't, wasn't playing well until the third quarter. And, you know, we we missed some shots. We was giving up crazy open shots, fouling when it was unnecessary. It was a lot of a lot of BS going on, a lot of dumb stuff. Where where coach messed up, I'll say the most is, at the end of the game, I'll say for the last six minutes of the game, he had Mobley on the bench and had Jetty Osmond in the game. The other team, they got Rudy Gobert over there shutting stuff down. Carl Anthony Towns. They two seven footers, go bear seven three, you know, just locking it down. They and they played the fourth quarter. For you to set Evan Mobley down, and mind you, this is in the middle of Darius Garland going off in the fourth quarter. I can't even tell you how much he scored. I'm gonna look it up, but I mean he had to score at least twenty points almost in the fourth. Twenty points in the fourth quarter alone. You know he hit ten threes tonight, and I think at least five of them came came in the fourth quarter. Man, you can't sit your second best defensive player that we have available. Cause I'ma always say Okoro is the best on board defender that we got on the team. But Mobley can switch off the pick and roll so well, and he's a great defender and a blocker, a shot blocker. You know, he had him sitting down. For the last six minutes of the game, only put him in with about 30 seconds left in the game after some free throws. You can't do that, coach. Jetty plays, his his play is way too sporadic for you to play him for such a prolonged period of time. Jetty set up there, and he's missing assignments, missing plays. He missed a layup at the end of the game that we needed that, you know, and I mean, you it's 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 hard to go over each play by play, but I can tell y'all this one last play. It was about I say about thirty seconds left in the game in the fourth quarter. Anthony Edwards for the Timberwolves. We down two points, mind you. This is after Darius then hit ten threes. After he done went off, got almost you know he had fifty points at this point at this time right here. Anthony Edwards went up for a shot. And, and bricked it. They got uh, Rudy Gobert in, slapped the ball out, and they got the offensive rebound, and we had to foul them. And they went up by four points, and that's what killed us. That's what ended the game for us right there. If we would have had Evan Mobley in that game, I don't even think it was Gobert that, uh, that slapped that ball out. I, it was another person. It was another one of the guys that slapped that ball out. We had Rudy. If we'd have Evan Mobley in that game, 
regardless, it wouldn't it wouldn't have been such an easy slap off for them to get the ball so easy. I'm I'm pretty sure because the way it was set up, we probably if we'd had one of our seven fitters in the game at that time, we would have got that ball back. Right there with two points, only down two points, and let me tell you, Garland was going off. Down two, thirty seconds left. We would have scored. We would have. I mean, we, that would have gave us the best chance to come back and win that game right there. Coach, he goes with, and I like Levert. I like Osmond too. You know, time to time, but Osmond, he's he 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 real inconsistent. He bullheaded. When he put his head down, he going straight up to the cup, make a miss. You know. And I like Levert too. You gotta know. It's a, it's a saying, and this applies this is a poker saying this but you can apply this to all different facets of life and you can f apply this to all different facets of games you got to know when to hold them you got to know when to fold them okay you got to know when to sit some guys down just because this your guy you got to know when to sit them down give them a break and put somebody else in or not even just put somebody else in go with a different hand you know you playing jetty osmond at this point of the uh, of the of the uh, game, you know, and having Mobley on the bench that doesn't make sense. Mobley, if you ask any um, basketball um, personality or somebody who who knows about the game, they will tell you Mobley is quote unquote our future, and I see it the same way. You know, we building around him, Garland and Mitchell. There's no way that he should be sitting on the bench for the last six minutes of the game. It doesn't make any sense, okay? And I have a big problem with that because that costs us several different opportunities. I'm just bringing up that one, but I noticed it at least three times that if we had Mobley in that game, we probably would have got either an offensive rebound or a defensive rebound that could have extended our play. If we would have got that defensive rebound, after Anthony Edwards missed that shot, we would have brought that ball down court. I'm almost positive because we, I mean, because they couldn't stop us at the end of the game. It was just a race against the clock. We was down 20 points with with six minutes left on the clock, and then, and then by that time they couldn't stop us no more. I mean, we got it all the way down to being down two points with 30 seconds left. You know, couldn't stop us. If we would have got that defensive rebound, mind you, we didn't have any seven footers in. But they did. If we got that defensive rebound at that time, they wouldn't have been able to stop us if we would have brought that ball down. Because cause, cause nobody could stop Garland at that point. But all we needed was two points. Instead, what happened was they slapped the ball out, got, the, got their offensive rebound, and we fouled them. And they went in, made their free throws, and that was the end of the game. We went down four points, and we couldn't come back. You know, we went, came back down, made another shot, but then they, we had ended up following them again, and they made those free throws again. And you know, we came back down, tried to shoot a three. They made two more free throws, so we ended up being down seven or five. What we ended the game with. My point is, is that, coach, you got to learn. You got to do better with bringing guys in. So everybody, it's not going to be everybody's game each game you know some guys gonna have bad games you know garland had a bad game against the warriors he had a bad game against the clippers it happens he had a uh, uh he started off having a bad game against um timberwolves today turned that around you know end up going for 50. we got that defensive rebound we could have brought that ball up court i'm almost 100 percent sure that things would have went totally different and we probably would have won this game. I like Bickerstaff as a coach because he has these guys prepared mentally and they play good basketball. Sometimes we have lapses in defenses in defense, sometimes we have lapses in offense, but overall they they play a good team game. But what he did today about Take Mobley out for that second half of the fourth quarter, having Jetty play so many minutes and everything like that. We had Jetty for six years. I think this is Jetty's sixth season with us. 
or fifth with 2017 we got him. So fifth or sixth season with us. Jaden and Plateau, we see what he can do. He's only going to do so much. You know, there's no reason we should have Jetty Osman in the game in the fourth quarter over Evan Mobley. That is ridiculous. Doesn't make any sense. Evan Mobley's our future. Jetty Osman is the past. If we ever going to be a championship team, Jetty Osman is not going to be on a, on our championship team. He's not going to be playing in the fourth quarter of a championship game. It's just not going to happen. Evan Mobley will be, but Jetty Osmond's not. So, I mean, we could sum it up to because, I mean, in basketball, so many different plays. You know, it, 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 it goes like this. It doesn't stop. But that play in particular isolated the fact that Jetty Osmond should not have been in the game over Evan Mobley. Mobley would have got that defensive rebound, passed the ball out. Because then after 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 that situation, when we fouled him, guess what happened? He put Mobley right in the game. It's 30 seconds left in the game, coach. Wasn't in no foul trouble. Not, and even if he is in foul trouble, it's the fourth quarter. Get your best players in the game in the fourth quarter. In the fourth quarter. You know, we came all the way back. Why is Jetty Osmond in the game? And, and I know he might have had a decent game today, but that's all it was was decent. He didn't, like, put up any godly numbers, anything like that. It was a decent game. That's it. And I don't even think it was that decent because he missed a, a, a layup at the end of the game that could have tied it up, okay? If we would have had Mobley in there, he would have dished the ball to Garland, and Garland would have made a play, you know, especially the way he was playing in that fourth quarter. He was lights out. Garland would have made a play, and – I think coach has to do better. He got This is a time for him to self-reflect. Coach got to do better with managing the lineup and the players that we do have. There's no way I want to see Jetty Osman in the game over Mobley in the fourth quarter with six through zero minutes left to go, okay? Because by the time we put Mobley back in the game, it was only 30 seconds left in the game. That's ridiculous. No, it was less than 30 seconds left in the game, and they was and they, and they was coming off of their free throws. It's ridiculous. Can't have that. Can't have that. You got two seven-footers on the team. Probably, I mean, you know, two starting seven-footers on the team. One of them was out. We got to have, and Mobley is one of the best on-ball defenders, on-ball, on off-ball switch defenders, you know, when it comes to pick and roll in the league for a seven-footer. I mean, he, he has good feet, good movement. Jetty's not a good defender, and Jetty's barely decent on the offensive end. But there's no reason. I know you ride the hand that gets you to a certain spot, but it only you only ride it to where it gets you to that spot. But once you get there, you got to know when to switch it and put your guys in that's going to make the plays that's going to solidify the win. And that's what Coach didn't do. You know, I like JB, but this is time for him to self-reflect and, 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 and figure things out because we, if it keeps going like this, coaching like that, we're not going to be able to win a championship like that. You know, so, um, hey, we're we playing good basketball. Well, these last couple games, we've been playing a little bit offbeat, but we've been playing good basketball, but – um. Yeah, coaching gotta gotta, gotta um, recognize. You know, somebody should have got in his ear. Hey man, you are leaving your 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 top one of your top three players that we got on the team on the bench with six minutes left to go in the game. Can't have that. Can't have that. And the Coro should be starting. Levert needs to come off the bench because he's a spark plug, and he he he's fast. He can handle the ball. But if you got Levert, Mitchell, and Garland all starting, that's three ball handlers all starting, and then you don't have not one real ball handler coming off the bench, that's a problem. Okoro is our best on-ball defender that we have on the team. And shout-out to Lamar Stevens. He played good tonight. He played good tonight. Okoro is our best on-ball defender that we got on the team. 
he should be starting, and Levert needs to be coming off the bench, providing that speed slash ball handling slash spark plug slash scoring opportunity that we need, you know. And that's where coach I feel like coach is uh is 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 lacking in that department right there. You know, we can't have that. We gotta do better. You know, I like Levert, but I like Levert coming off the bench, helping those bench guys out. Because by the time the bench come in, we got we bring Love in, Robin Lopez in, Okoro in. We don't have no ball handlers. That's where Levert's supposed to be in right there. Can't start three ball handling because I mean Levert's not a he's our he's playing our three but he's not a spot up shooter. When he gets the ball he dribbles the ball and he's trying to find his shot, just like Mitchell, just like Garland. Can't have three of the same type of on you know uh, uh, ball handlers in in the game at the same time starting the game. Levert needs to be coming off the bench, you know, providing that 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 spark that we need, you know. So um, we're going to talk more about this. But um, I'm a little bit upset because game just went off. And um, that shouldn't have been like that. You know, I mean, we, we could have won this game. No problem. So um, I'll be back at y'all, you know. And uh, money, money man slash GWT, one, I'm out.